In this video, I am going to demonstrate the different ways of using batteries for a robot car. So, we have here is the Maker Fire robot chassis kit. Basically, comes with motors, wheels, and chassis. I have added an H bridge. And so, what we're going to do is we're just going to try these different kinds of batteries. These are lithium ion 3.7 volt batteries, two of them, uh, which provide about 8 to 7.5 volts um, at quite a bit of capacity. And these work really well on, on this type of chassis. We also have uh, four. AA batteries, just regular alkaline batteries. Um, so we are going to try that. Um, we're going to also try three C cell batteries. So this will be 6 volts, this will be 4.5 volts, and also a nickel metal hydride 9.6 volt rechargeable battery pack. Uh, which is used quite often in RC cars. So this definitely has more voltage. These lithium ion batteries have 2200 milliamp hours of capacity. Um, and that's quite a bit. That's 2.2 amps for an hour. Um, the nickel metal hydride 9.6 volts is 600 milliamp hours. Um, that's going to be just enough for this car, which when all the motors are running full speed, it's about a half an amp. So this this will not last as long as these, but this should get get us through an hour, maybe 45 minutes of full continuous operation. These AA alkaline batteries, they're specced at about 2,000 milliamp hours capacity under a 50 milliamp constant drain. But we're going to be looking at here like a five, ten times that 500 milliamp constant drain. So we'll, uh, we'll get the voltmeter out and, and check and see what happens to these batteries when we hook them up to the motors. These lithium ion batteries, um, they're not too expensive. You can get four of them for ten bucks. Um, and if you want to get the charger, get a good charger, um, that's about eighteen bucks, twenty bucks for four batteries and a charger. Um, I've used those little black chargers in the past and I've had some reliability problems with them. Some of them don't work. They don't really give you a good indication of when the batteries are charged and uh, and they don't, they take a long time to charge the batteries. Um, this is a pretty darn good one here and it's not that expensive. These nickel metal hydride uh, RC car batteries um, these are about 15 bucks. Uh, you can get them in higher capacity as well. You can get 2,000 milliamp hour uh, versions of these for about 15 bucks. Um, and then the charger and so on. So, a bit more expensive than the lithium ion batteries. Um, but higher voltage, which will give you higher speed on, on the motor. So. Um, It'll be fun trying this out with the car. These C batteries, they have about 8,000 milliamp hour capacity, uh, so much greater than the double A's, um, and probably, I'm guessing that these are what you would want to use if you can't get it nickel metal hydride or lithium ion. Um, I think you would rather go with four C batteries. I only have 
three here because that's how many I have. Um, but uh, I think these double A's are not going to last very long. And uh, let's go and find out. 